East Hampton has introduced a novel tool to stop students from vaping in bathrooms, vape detectors. The sensors have now been installed in the city's high school and middle school. Thanks for joining us everyone on this Monday and welcome to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Christian Burnell joins us live tonight in East Hampton after getting answers on this new initiative. Kristen. Chris, I spoke with the mayor of East Hampton to find out more about new efforts underway. The school system and really our community in general is facing a large uptick in young folks using vapes. The city of East Hampton has taken a unique initiative to stop teens from vaping. Mayor Nicole LaChapelle tells Western Mass News vape detectors have been recently installed in the high school bathrooms and locker rooms, as well as in all eighth grade bathrooms at the middle school. We've had difficulty. Uh, I, I don't want to say combating, but education getting out there. Uh, and the vape detectors is another tool in the toolbox. It brings one awareness uh, among the student population that um, there is a detector in bathrooms in particular. It allows kids who aren't using vapes just a little more uh, clarity about using a bathroom, not having to be around a lot of vaping. That's mostly where it happens. As for how it works, according to Bill Evans, the principal of the high school, when a detector is triggered, a text message and email are sent to the school administrators and do not make a noise when they are triggered. The detectors then provide administrators with the exact location, time and type of substance that is being used. We're getting answers on the potential dangers of vaping. I'm in, um uh, vaping products have sometimes up to the amount of nicotine that a full 20 cigarette pack of cigarettes would have. He says the act of vaping can have developmental effects on the brain, especially for teenagers whose brains are not fully developed until typically the age of 25. It is a, a way of addicting people. Um, and it is which is originally marketed as a way of getting people off of nicotine addiction, but has actually become the mo one of the most common ways of getting people hooked on nicotine, hooked on tobacco, uh, which will lead to uh, cigarette smoking later in life and then lung cancer later in life from there. Meanwhile, Mayor LaChapelle tells us the vape detectors have been triggered since they were first installed, but she hopes the sensors will be used as a deterrent for students in the future. The vape detectors definitely have gone off and um, there has been some discipline around using. Uh, but again, the we feel that's going to be rare going forward. And as for what that discipline includes, Mayor LaChapelle says it, students could face an in-school or at-a-school suspension. Reporting live, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News. Kristen.